Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm Noya Kando from uh, AIST, and uh, uh, now I'm in uh, METI, uh, Ministry of Economy, uh, Trading, and Industry. And uh, I'm also a uh, co chair of uh, Infra Infrastructure Working Group, Robotics Domain Task Force in OMG. So today I'd like to talk about uh, our uh, RT middleware, its uh, uh, architecture, implementation, and standard. And uh, I also uh, advertise uh, METI's activities related to the robotics. So this is outline of my talk. And uh, so uh, RT middleware is a uh, robot middleware. So now uh, in Japan, we call robot technology uh, as RT, not only standard. RT means not only standard robot, but also uh, robotic elements, sensor, actuators, and, the and so on. And uh, RT middleware is a, a, a software platform to integrate these uh, robotic elements. And uh, each uh, module, software module in RT middleware are called RT component. And also we, uh, we AST, uh, develop, have uh, developed uh, open RTM AST as uh, one of the reference uh, implement implementation. So this is a uh, history of our project. The RT Midler project uh, started in 2002 and uh, we had uh, a three year project at first. And then uh, we had a, a lot of projects related to RT middleware and robot systems. And uh, we also uh, standardized our middleware st specification in OMG, uh, Object Management Group. This is a, a kind of uh, standardization, standardization body in the uh, United States. So this is a concept, very simple concept of RT component and RT middleware. Uh, we provide component framework and uh, you just put your logic or control software to the uh, component framework. So you can get uh, RT component. And then you uh, usually this is uh, compiled into a shared object or DLL or something like that. And then you can load RT component to the RT middleware platform. And the RT middleware platform uh, manages its life, cy life cycle, communication, and so on, so on. And uh, so uh, this is a basic concept of RT middleware. This is the uh, architecture of RT component. The architecture is a little bit uh, uh, more complex than uh, loss node, but uh, so this is a component body and uh, some uh, interface to control uh, and uh, manage the component inside. And uh, a component has some port to communicate uh, with other component. This is the basic functions of RTC. So at first, uh, this is activity. So each component has a common uh, state machine to manage its life cycle. So you can uh, activate, uh, if you want to uh, start up your robot system, you just activate all the components to inactive state. And uh, also the uh, very specific uh, RTC specific uh, feature is execution context. This uh, realizes uh, uh, tightly uh, coupled, uh, tightly coupled uh, component. Uh, for example, uh, if you get sensor component, controller component, and actual con the component, uh, execution context realizes the uh, these components uh, execute in real-time state. 
And uh, also, uh, RTC has uh, uh, two kind of port, data port and service port, and uh, also uh, configuration parameter uh, functionality is also uh, implemented in the RTC. The other feature uh, of RTC is uh, uh, language independent and uh, operating system independent uh, middleware. For example, currently our OpenRTM support these kind of operating systems, uh, Linux, Windows, uh, VxWorx, QNX, and uh, at Linux is a, a kind of real-time real extension to the uh, Linux kernel, which is developed in AST. And uh, also we support uh, MicroItron. Do you know MicroItron? <laughs> Probably uh, this uh, embedded uh, operating system uh, is used in uh, Japan, but uh, uh, in Japan, uh, this operating system is uh, uh, very popular for uh, mobile phone and so on. And uh, so, RTM middleware support this kind of uh, operating system, and uh, now OpenRTM support C++, Java, Python. So you can choose any kind, uh, this kind of uh, uh, computer language and uh, write your component. Uh, and of course, uh, component written in different language can communicate each other. We also uh, provide some tool to develop component system or simulator and so on, like this. So we call it Open uh, Robot Technology Platform, Open RTP. So we provide this kind of tool and uh, also we provide a command line tool, RT shell, so you can, uh, you can develop and uh, operate RT middleware-based system uh, with GUI and CUI. Next, I'd like to uh, talk about the extensibility of uh, RT component architecture. So this is, this figure shows the uh, uh, data port interface. Uh, data port interface can have uh, one or more uh, protocol specific interfaces like this. Originally OpenRTM has a callback based communication, data port communication, and uh, you can also any kind of uh, uh, protocol to transfer data uh, between component. Uh, and uh, uh, recently, uh, my colleague uh, implement ROS TCP protocol based uh, data port in OpenRTM and also we have developed uh, DDS, uh, data distribution service uh, based uh, data port. And also, uh, in third party uh, implementation, uh, ice based uh, communication is also supported. This is a concept of, uh, this figure shows the concept of ROS TCP support in OpenRTM. Uh, this method is uh, uh, different from uh, JSK style, which is uh, introduced by Professor Okada. Uh, we just uh, put a ROS interface directly to the component port, and the component can uh, directly, directly to talk to the uh, ROS node through the uh, ROS transport stack. And this is uh, uh, other uh, DDS imp implement uh, DDS support in data port. Uh, Recently, we have uh, uh, implement uh, DDS support in uh, RTC data port. This implementation supports RTI Connect uh, DDS, Open Splice DDS, and uh, Open DDS. So DDS implementation provided by uh, exper experienced middleware professional. And uh, 
DDS also support a, a powerful QoS settings. And uh, of course, you know uh, the DDS fully standardized in OMG. So other extensibility of RTC is uh, uh, execution context, based on exec execution context. So the, this figure showed the uh, one same component bi binary can execute it in non-real-time Linux and uh, real-time Linux. So uh, this execution context only support non-real-time execution and uh, this execution context uh, execute uh, component logic in real time if you have a real time operating system. So uh, component body and uh, execution context, this is a kind of, uh, 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 how can I say, so uh, thread object just invoke the uh, logic in component uh, these two parts are completely modular and uh, the uh, combination of uh, component body and the execution context is very free and uh, in, uh, dynamically changed in runtime. So you can just put uh, real-time execution context to the, your RTC if you want to uh, your logic. Uh, want to be uh, executed in their time. This is an example of uh, uh, usage of uh, uh, execution context feature. This is actually used in uh, HRP3 uh, simulator and uh, HRP6. These are uh, uh, introduced by Professor Okada's presentation. And so at first, uh, this is simulator, and the simulator has a, its own clock, and the clock tick sent to the this execution context, and uh, and then the logic in this component are uh, invoked one time. And then this logic sends the data to the other controller component. And then the controller component receive data and calculate uh, control output and uh, send back to the bridge component in uh, simulator. And then the uh, controller output is set to the uh, dynamics engine. Then uh, simulation uh, works. And uh, these two components can be used to the actual uh, robot hardware without any uh, recompilation. Like this. You just put this controller component to the uh, actual hardware and connect uh, sensor and the actuator And uh, then, in this case, uh, these execution contexts are replaced to the uh, real-time execution context. So totally, these components are execute, executed in a uh, real-time thread. So these are uh, application, actual application of uh, uh, OpenRTM. These humanoids and uh, uh, their arm robot and the shaft S1 are also uh, controlled by HRP6 based on OpenRTM. And we also uh, provide RT middleware to the, these kind of robots. Uh, this is a simulator in for the uh, disaster response uh, robot system. And uh, uh, we will build, uh, build up a mock-up center near from uh, Fukushima Daiichi, uh, probably next year. 
and this simulator will be uh, introduced to the uh, mock-up center for uh, the uh, operator training. And uh, this is a uh, very small and lightweight uh, manipulator developed by uh, Japanese robot venture company. And th these robots are uh, for education. And th these applications are not robot system. This is a very large <laughs> system uh, in uh, Tokai village uh, near from um, Fukushima. And uh, so ultimately is uh, uh, used to uh, collect data, sensor data in this uh, high energy uh, no, Japan Positron Accelerator Research Complex here. And this is another uh, measurement system application. So uh, we provide open RTM to uh, high energy, high energy uh, accelerator research organization uh, called KEK. And uh, they also uh, extend the RTM data to their, uh, for their application. Uh, data acqui acquisition systems, and they introduce to the uh, JPAC and uh, uh, always uh, DAQ middleware are running in this uh, research complex. And then I'd like to talk about our uh, standardization activity. So uh, our uh, Artimeter project has a uh, uh, quite uh, unique for the uh, standardization in OMG. So uh, OMG is an uh, object management group uh, which uh, uh, that is a kind of a standardization body. Uh, this OMG is also known as the uh, standardization body of UML, CORVA, and DDS. And also, uh, OMG support uh, uh, domain-specific standardization, like uh, robotics, uh, eco no, uh, government system, and uh, uh, military system, and so on and so on. And uh, the base concept of OMG standard is uh, MDA, model-driven architecture. Uh, this concept is uh, based on two model, TIM and PISM. TIM is a platform independent model uh, which uh, the software model independent from platform. In this uh, case, uh, the platform means the language, middleware, and so on. And the other uh, model is a platform specific model. This is uh, depend on the specific uh, language or middleware. In OMG, uh, they uh, usually we uh, standardize uh, their specification in two parts, team and PISM. So, uh, why we need standard? So the purpose of, from the purpose of RT middleware, uh, defining a common software model shared by robot developer and researcher. And uh, we want to provide open specification. Uh, anyone can implement uh, interoperable product. So it makes a diversity of uh, uh, implementation and uh, uh, based on the, this uh, concept, uh, we implement, uh, we have implemented OpenRTM AST to validate the specification. And uh, also, uh, software model 
should be in independent from uh, uh, implementation technology, I think. Uh, implementation from, uh, independent from language, operating system, and the platform like Corba uh, uh, and so on. And so we choose uh, to standardize uh, our specification in OMG and uh, uh, we started the uh, standardization uh, almost eight years ago. And uh, OMG provide a very open standardization process. The, this is a very important feature uh, in standardization. So not only providing uh, open specification, uh, the open standardization process is very important to keep the uh, standard uh, specification and standard uh, in uh, open. So, uh, uh, we also uh, standardize uh, RT component architecture in OMG. Uh, we uh, finished the first uh, project in 2005 and then we bring uh, brought uh, our specification to OMG and at that time uh, United States um, middleware company RTI also uh, interested in uh, uh, robot component specification and they also uh, submit their component specification and then we discuss about uh, the specification, uh, robot, uh, robot component specification and merge uh, two specification. Then we submit the uh, uh, OMG architecture board. And finally, we uh, finished the standardization in 2008. And uh, uh, we also divide the speci this specification in 2012. So, uh, the RTC specification feature is uh, uh, here. Uh, RTC spe specification provides rich component life cycle and the tightly coupled uh, component, fine, uh, very fine grain and tightly coupled component and the dynamic composition of component. So now we have uh, these uh, implementation based on OMG RTC specification. Uh, of our teams here and uh, Honda R&D also developed uh, their own RT middleware and uh, SEC is uh, a Jap Japanese uh, software company and uh, we also support not only Ethernet, but also uh, CAN, ZigBee, and the other network. Okay. Now we just started the new uh, component uh, standard in OMG. Uh, we robotics people and uh, uh, Mars people, they are specialists of uh, middleware uh, this is uh, uh, Mars. Mars is a platform task force uh, to standardize uh, Corva, DDS, and other related middleware standard. So now we just started uh, making a new uh, standard named the UCM, Unified Component Model. Okay. Finally, I'd like to advertise. Uh, uh, made it pro robot project. Uh, this is a robot safety project uh, from 2009 to 2013. And uh, in this project, we have uh, developed uh, risk assessment method and uh, para data rate database and uh, uh, other uh, testing method and facilities. And then finally, we uh, standardized uh, risk assessment and safety requirement in ISO. And then, so, uh, Japanese some company got uh, uh, this standard certification. 
and uh, we also uh, started a uh, robotic care device project from uh, last year, and uh, from this year we started a new project, infrastructure maintenance robot project, uh, like this. And uh, also, oh, we started new project from this year, uh, collaboration with uh, DARPA, uh, disaster response robot, robot uh, research and development uh, program. Uh, recently, uh, we uh, issued a public offering uh, through the NEDO. Uh, the requirement is uh, like this. Anyway, so we will send uh, at least three teams to uh, DRC final. And we also developed simulator and uh, task with uh, DARPA. Finally, uh, I'd like to summarize my presentation. Uh, this is just my recommendation. Please try to use HRPCs and uh, OpenRTM as a real-time control framework and distributed systems. And uh, we, uh, I would like to uh, recruit uh, who uh, want to uh, work with, uh, work in the OMG standardization activities. So please join our discussion uh, about the UCM and standard standardization to apply uh, requirement for robot specific feature and uh, uh, let's create new robot software standard. So that's it. Thank you for your kind attention.